Hi friends, I am Yugen. Welcome to my YouTube channel Interesting Quantum. In this video, we are going to see what is the wave function in quantum mechanics. The wave function is the function which gives the wave character associated with the quantum particles. We have seen in the last video lambda is equal to h upon p the de Broglie equation in this equation lambda is the wavelength of the matter wave h is a Planck's constant and p is a linear momentum of that particle now we can see from this equation if the linear momentum of particle goes on increasing the wavelength of the matter wave goes on decreasing for quantum particles the mass is very very low that's why momentum is also very low and hence the wavelength of their matter wave is comparable with their size another important equation in the quantum mechanics is the schrodinger's wave equation minus h cross square by 2m del square psi plus v psi is equal to e psi where v is a potential and psi is a wave function both depends on r and minus h cross square by 2m del square is kinetic energy operator we will see in next video what is operator but look at this equation we will require this equation in all the course of quantum mechanics so the wave function is function which contains all the information about corresponding particle like position, momentum, energy or any other physical parameters. Generally wave function is complex that is it contains imaginary number i that is square root of minus 1. What does this mean? How can a complex function tell the information about the real wave? Here are some solutions of these questions. We find out the wave function for a particular situation. This is a mathematical reason. So from this Schrodinger equation, we find out the wave function which satisfy the condition given condition that's why the complex solution is the general solution it is not necessary that it will always be a complex function but it is general case so it may be complex or it may not be but in more general case it is complex physically it has no direct meaning but its absolute square that is mod square gives the probability of finding the particle the probability must be 1 over the entire region and it should not depend on the time that's why the imaginary part in exponential term along with the time is involved in the wave function the wave function looks like this psi which depends on x and t is equal to a which is normalization constant we will see in later videos what is that into e raised to i this is complex part of the function into kx minus omega t or which can be simplified in cos and sin function and the probability is given uh, in terms of integration of psi star psi into dx or for the volume dx changes to dv or dx dy into dz so psi is the wave function and psi star is its complex conjugate so complex conjugate is the quantity which we can get by replacing minus i by i or i by minus i so in the above equation cos term plus i sin term 
so the complex conjugate of this term is cos minus i sin kx minus omega t so the i part from the equation of probability or any other equations cancels out so the time part cannot come into the probability equation that's why it is needed the wave function should be complex now we will see what are the restrictions on the wave function first one is it should be finite at every point it should be single valued at every point it should be normalizable we will see what is normalization in next videos in order to normalize the wave functions wave functions must be zero as x approaches to infinity so this means if i am going far away from the force the wave function should be zero that means there is zero probability of finding the particle at very large distance so if i am finding electron so it must be in the vicinity of the nucleus it should not be very far away from the nucleus it must be continuous and its first derivatives are also continuous everywhere what does this mean how a continuous wave function contains the discrete data because in first video we have seen that quantum word itself means discreteness so is this contradictory remember schrodinger's wave equation this equation tells that the psi is wave function and kinetic energy plus potential energy gives the total energy e here is the discreteness psi must be continuous but the energy is not continuous so the energy is discrete but wave function is continuous what does this mean wave function is continuous this means wave function should not vanish at some point and again reappear after some time so it must be somewhere particle must be somewhere for that energy level so it should not be discrete it must be continuous the wave functions will satisfy above equation only if the energy level is allowed so the wave quantity associated with the electron or any particle which we call as the wave function is very abstract concept it cannot be imagined or it does not correspond directly to any measurable physical quantity still it can give all the information regarding the particle enough for this video thank you for watching if you like this video like share comment and don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed before and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the further videos thank you